thought I'd share with you a couple of the things that I've said to my friends over the years when they've asked me, what should I know before I start in a PhD? Where should I enrol? How should I go about it? And the very first thing I say to them is, you need to choose the right place to study for you and for your project. A PhD is a course of very specialised study that needs specialised help, spaces and places to be able to do it well. Here at ANU, we're a very research intensive university with a lot of specialised support. We have a lot of connections that can help you, a lot of resources to support you, and a lot of scholarships that can pay you a living stipend while you study. So look for the right place for you. This will be different for everybody. One of the first and most critical things you need to do is choose the right supervisor. To become an expert in your field, you need the help of other experts. And at ANU, we provide you with up to three, sometimes more supervisors to help you on your path. As part of the application process, we ask you to do a research proposal. The purpose of the research proposal is just to set out what you intend to do. It helps us locate extra resources and other people who could supervise you. It also helps us work out whether you fit in one school or another. So this is an important piece of documentation to get right. Most people work up their research project in consultation with a prospective supervisor so that they're suggesting some readings and some directions that you might want to take the project. So a lot of people are confused when they're asked to write a research proposal. Really, it's just doing a little bit of pre-research before you start the research. Look up a few papers in the field, find out who the other scholars are that might be interesting. And don't forget that you can go to a public library. The State Library is a really good place to start that has access to specialised journals so you can start to really see how your research might fit into that broader field. A PhD is quite a long degree, so it's three years, sometimes people take as long as five or even more. So that means you really need to get your family, your friends, your children on board with your decisions. Treat the PhD like a job. It should take you about 40 hours a week to do a PhD full time. So think about what your childcare arrangements need to be and how to tell your friends when they ring you during the day that you're working, you're not pursuing a hobby. And finally, I'd say to you, do something that's in your heart, that you're passionate about, you're curious to find out, you want to explore, you want to make a difference with your research. As I said, the PhD is a really long time to work on just one thing. So if it's not something that interests you, it's going to get boring well before the end. So follow your heart. 